Hey, I'm Chase, and this is All Things Random. Today, we're talking about a cell phone case so waterproof you can take it scuba diving. And it's under 30 bucks. Now, what are we talking about today? We're talking about the Palouse Diving Waterproof Case right here that can go to depths of up to 40 meters, which if you do the math is 120 feet. So the question is, why would you wanna take a cell phone scuba diving? Well, to be honest, most people don't wanna spend $199 on an action camera or even $299, or even if you go to Walmart and buy a cheaper HD camera for $70, that's still twice as much as this case itself, which again was $29.99, 30 bucks online. And I'll be honest with you, most cameras on cell phones to include my iPhone XR are better than other action cameras. So why would I wanna spend $200 on a camera just to take it diving when I could take my phone? So let's hop into the unboxing and let's take a deeper look at this case. Now I can tell you that I stepped out on a limb when I bought this, I wasn't sure of the quality, but the packaging and the product are second to none. Now the box itself is a very hard-sided box. The packaging was very on point and you can see right here, there are many different phones and different cases you can get that this can fit into. This one is the iPhone XR case. And again, I can't really pronounce the name, Palouse but I'll leave a link down below. So let's open it up and I'll show you what's inside. Again, this packaging is better than a $60 cell phone case I could have bought at the iPhone store, the Apple store. So in nice styrofoam padding is the case itself. Now this case is the one that I chose is clear plastic on the back so you can see your screen and black matte on the front. For me, the color of the case didn't really matter. I just wanted something neutral, but I can tell you that this is very solid feeling. It's like a waterproof Pelican case for your phone. Inside, you have a small lanyard, you have something that you can wipe down the screen with, and you have additional seals and instructions. Now, when you open this up, it is a very solid lock. You can actually feel that it takes a little bit more pressure to close the lock to get that seal to go in. So for me, you don't have to worry about it not sealing tight enough. Now it says that when you close this around your phone, you need to go through and like I'm doing right now and press it closed to make sure that that seal is nice and tight. But I can tell you that when I went into the pool, had no issues with it at all. Now it does have additional seals which are nice because you know that this is going to last long term if the seal breaks later or wears down you don't have to worry about getting another case itself now this manual has every single phone in it but when i flip to mine you can see that it has specific instructions on what you need to do to get your phone set up to take pictures underwater now it tells you that you need to put your camera app down in the lower right hand corner of your phone in the toolbar and that's because there's a specific button where you can hit that camera button you can hit that camera app and it allows you to open it up underwater now the instructions are very clear they're very well written and they tell you exactly what you need to do they tell you how you need to go in and turn your phone onto never lock because you can't clearly open it up under the water but everything is accessed through the buttons here on the front. You can switch between modes, take pictures, videos. It even has a mount on the bottom to set up on a tripod if you want. Now, one of the important things that I wanted to see about this case, not only is its depth rating, will it work? The pool, which is only 12 feet, which is four meters, really isn't gonna give you a 40 meter depth. However, it's enough to where it shows if there's any leakage for the pressure, it's not gonna ruin the phone at that depth. It'll just slowly start leaking. I'll be able to see if the seals aren't very good. Now, another thing is its ability to either float or stay neutrally buoyant. The last thing I wanna do is take a phone scuba diving, drop it out of my hand, and it sink to way below the depths that I'm willing to go. And there's my phone, it's gone. 
Well, I can tell you that this phone is neutrally buoyant. So the deeper you go, the more neutrally buoyant it is, in fact. Now, if left at the surface, it will float. If I go down under the water a little bit more and let go, it sort of just hovers. Now, let's talk about the functionality of the phone itself underwater and how easy it is to use. Now, first, before we do that, there's a few things that you have to do on the phone when it comes to settings. Now, anybody who has an iPhone can tell you that the settings for Never Lock does not work if your phone's not fully charged. So the first thing you have to do is make sure that your phone is fully charged. Then you're gonna go into your settings under the display and you are going to place it into Never Lock. Then what you're gonna do is take the camera app on your phone, slide it to the bottom toolbar, and then you're set. Now the never lock is there because once you hit the lock button on the phone, there's no way to open up iPhone XRs without swiping up on the screen itself. You don't have access to the screen. The only access you have are the buttons that I'll show you. And this is why you need to keep it unlocked because these buttons allow you to toggle through the different camera settings, allowing you to go from video to picture and then allow you to record or snap a shot. In fact, it is extremely easy to use, but it must remain unlocked. The moment you lock it, it's done. You have to go to the surface, open it up and unlock it. Now, another cool thing about being able to take your phone diving is you immediately have access and a lot of people are going to think this is kind of funny, but you have immediate access to the data itself to include being able to share to social media. So instead of having to wait to download all my images from my, from my GoPro into my computer, then editing and sharing them, I can do all that on my phone immediately after surfacing. Again, 30 bucks. This is a can't go wrong. And I'll tell you right here, there is a lot to be offered when it comes to actual cell phone cases. It's not just the iPhone XR. They offer a lot more. And I'll leave a link down below if you want to check out these cases. Now, if you like videos and videos like this, hit that subscribe button down below and leave a comment of the content you would like to see next. Now, my next video is a watch build video where I turn a pilot's watch into a Panerai homage Stay tuned, that's gonna be released probably tomorrow or the next day. Hit that notification bell, leave a comment. Until next time.